painting supplies we have our paint tray, we have our sponge for drying our paintbrush off, and our paintbrush. We also have our watercolor palette. So whatever we're painting with, in this case it's a watercolor, we have our watercolor palette. Whenever we're cleaning our brush off, we always want to take our paintbrush and press and flip to the bottom of the bowl. What we do not want to do is shake, 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 shake the water, or tap, 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 tap. Oh no, there's paint and water everywhere. Say it with me now. Press and flip, press and flip, press and flip, press and flip. This is how we clean our brush. Press and flip, press and flip back and forth between our water and our sponge. Now that we have water on our paintbrush, we're gonna tap, tap, tap our first color. We're not gonna dig our paintbrush in it, but we're gonna tap it in it. And we can paint our first lines. Each time you switch colors with your paintbrush, you're going to take your paintbrush and clean it off. Press and flip, press and flip, press and flip. Once my paintbrush is nice and clean, I can go and add water to my next color. Remember to tap it really gentle when you're getting your paint out of the palette and make sure you don't mix any colors or splash your paint around. Time to paint my paintbrush and go for my next color. Press and flip, press and flip, press and flip, press and flip. With the more water you add to your color, the lighter your color will become. The less water, the darker your color will become. to clean up, we're going to clean our paintbrush and place it on the tray. At the end of painting, your water should be pretty clear and your palette should be very clean. Ah! Oh no, this palette's super messy. Phew, much better. Nice and clean. Happy painting!